MC Toon, I would like to begin with an apology. I, I think I might have steered us all in the completely wrong direction. Oh, what's this about? Do you remember well, a few weeks ago when we had this series of bizarre emails? Uh, the, the, the emails threatening to dox you, uh, and I had emails threatening to disrupt a, the, the performance at a venue that I was scheduled to play at. I, and, and I said that I thought this was Simon Parks and his Connecting Consciousness group. Um, I think I got it wrong. Oh, do you, th you think it's not the yeah. aliens? I don't think it's anything to do with Simon Parks. Oh. I've been digging some more into this whole situation. And I, f I fingered the wrong guy. Oh, that sounds weird. <laughs> Especially when it's Simon Parks. Look, I've, <laughs> what I'm saying is I've accused the wrong man. I, oh, I, I just okay. don't think it's, I just don't think it's Simon Parks at all. It's, 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 it's nothing to do with him. He's innocent. He's in, oh, I've, well, I, he's not really innocent, but okay. Oh no. I mean, he does have bizarre rape fantasies. Uh, about uh, the, the the woman from the Fry's Turkish Delight advert. I, I um, rewatched that video and that, that he's nuts. He believes that he killed and then ate a holographic replica of, of the woman from that, that advert. I, yeah. Gosh. But no, it's not him. It's absolutely not him. He's, oh. he's completely innocent of... of well, I, he, he probably has been crying hot tears of sadness into the three bosoms of his alien girlfriend, but now he will be relieved to know. Simon Parks, if you're watching, take this as an apology from me. I, you know, I, I will always do my best to, to apologize. If... So we can, we can now begin remembering him again. We can. We can. We can Excellent. talk. We can. That's good news. We can talk about Simon Parks as much as we want because he was not the person behind well, the, the threatening is? emails we were getting. Right. Well, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you this comment that I received on my bit shoot a few days ago. Uh, it's probably gonna blow your mind because it's it's really bizarre. Can you can you see that? I can. I responded to him. Well, it's a response to you actually, yeah. but it was on. And your bit shoot, on my, on my bit shoot, yes. And well, th the context is he was trying to to mock me because I only had three subscribers <laughs> to my bit shoot channel, uh, and he, he he was suggesting that I wasn't really much of a communicator if after almost a full year of making Mind of Steel, I had amassed three subscribers in total. I didn't even know you had a bit shoot. You you do it all on YouTube. I don't use bit shoot because as I was trying to explain to black pilled ham bit shoot is a channel for for nutters flat earthers and, and urine drinkers and i'm not in any of those categories so why would i be pre presenting my content on bit shoot which is a, a channel for distributing openly racist content and, and far-right propaganda I, I that's not my kind of thing this is what black pilled ham wrote to me Who's angry, Mr. Butthurt? What, y'all gonna start saying that I started with you? Faggot YouTube clowns. Your stupid channel is arguing with flat earthers. Are you moving on to four-year-old autistic kids next for your encore? Wait, hold, hold on a second. MC Toon, is that your plan? Are you actually going to be... Are you giving up flat earthers to, to target four-year-old autistic I'm, children? That is not the plan. Nope. I'm, I'm kind of relieved. Um, yes. I... They can, they There's can, no shortage of flat earthers. They can breathe a sigh of relief. You are gonna die badly or suddenly, just like your fing <coughs> buddy, because I know your retarded flat earth ass got all the jabs too. You're too old to be an annoying nonce troll. You sneak around like little girls and wail and scream like a goo <coughs> when someone turns back in your direction. Just point at the dolly where I hurt you both. It's okay, just point at the spot where I hurt you. Well, he thinks we're going to die because we've, we've both taken the uh, doctor recommended regime of vaccinations at least i have who's dying like this isn't happening what fantasy world is he in that he thinks this is happening you recently interviewed i mean fake debated nathan oakley and mark Sargent. go ask nathan who took his dumbass 73k sub channel out for f***ing with me seven years ago Go ask Mark Sargent who took his 140k sub channel out 10 years ago. 
and then ask Patrick, who sold him his content back, to recreate his channel. Go ask Patricia Steer, who took her channel out for dicking around with Mark Sargent, saying my name over and over, followed by name-calling and conspiracy theorist. It truly was as hilarious then as it is now. Uh, okay, hold on, MC2. There's a lot of names there. I, I, I know enough about your business to know that some of those guys are flat earthers, but has, has Black Billed Ham been a major person in the anti-flat earth movement? None of the details here match. Uh, certainly he's, he's n not a name I've heard of, and I know his real name, and also not a name I've heard of. Um, to my knowledge, Nathan Oakley and Mark Sargent have never had their channels taken down. Um, neither of them have had their channel up for 10 years. Um, I don't think that Nathan Oakley ever had 73,000 subscribers. I what, know was there even a flat earth movement 10 years ago. There was not on YouTube. It started the very earliest was November, 2014 with, uh, Eric Dubay. So we're not yet at, because right now it's June of 20, uh, 2024. So it's almost 10 years for Eric Dubay, but all the others are more recent than that. So nobody's at 10 years yet that are major players in the Flat Earth uh, YouTube movement. Certainly, um, Mark Sargent's channel has never been taken down. Uh, and then Patricia Steer, now she took her own channel down, but not for, not for what he's saying there. He, she took it down because her ex-boyfriend was making some pretty horrible accusations and 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 her ex-boyfriend isn't even mentioned here so it, it's a completely unrelated thing so i don't know what he's talking about none of it matches reality it's interesting though i mean how does he even know about some of these flat and unless of course he's been watching a lot of your channel because other than maybe you simon dan creaky blinder i who who else is out there doing like this level of coverage of, of the flat earth movement his, his knowledge of it seems to be frozen in time from maybe eight years ago uh, I've never actually debated Nathan Oakley or Mark Sargent. So I've never even really had a direct conversation with either of them other than just a couple seconds. So what he, he didn't do his own research there. Uh, he's pretending like he knows what he's talking about, but certainly didn't, didn't get any of the details right. I don't care who sent you in my direction, son. I don't care if you're run by Andy Kindler, Howie Mandel, or whoever it may be now. I know you guys know who I am. You didn't just randomly show up. I know you know who I am and what I did, and your handlers will never let it go. I sent you back 10 years and sent your star, Matt the Bi Boy Boylan, packing to Mexico with his underage wife after the immigration enforcement thing. <laughs> MC2, do you know who any of these people are? So, well, yeah, Howie Mandel's a comedian. He's on uh, American Okay, Fox I've heard Island. of Howie Mandel. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I don't know Andy Kidler, but um, Matt Boylan is is a flat earther that started in 2010, but he's not, to my knowledge, I don't think he's a serious flat earther. He was a comedian. He was a failed comedian. He pretended to work for NASA. He never did. and But that was part of his act about flat earth. And uh, so he's like, he's coming, he's a whistle, a fake whistleblower is what his, his comedy act was. And he just kept doing that as if he's a flat earther. And I don't think anybody really believes him, but... Maybe in 2014 or 2020 or 2016, he was something. But today, Matt Boylan is, is nothing. How did you get Black Pilled Ham to read out his own message on my forum? The, the, the same message that he subsequently deleted? Uh, no, it's, it's just a, uh, it's a voice actor. No, it really does sound just like him, though. How, how, did you, how did you find a voice actor? Is this some kind of AI trickery? It, no, it's it's actually a, a real human female. Uh, it doesn't sound anything like him. I, I just find it uncanny. I, when I listen to to the the voice that you're you're playing there, it's it's like whoever this voice or actor is, she has looked into black pilled Ham's rotten soul, and, and then extracted the darkness, taken it for her, herself, and become just even more incelly, black-pilled, rage-filled than even the original black-pilled ham. It's, it's just uncanny. I'm, my mind's blown. You will make up all the excuses in the world as to why you are in my face. 
You will lie and make it up just to convince yourselves and your dip retard flat earth onions who think you are really after them bad old flat earthers and spiracy theorists. Funny angle. Not like funny haha, but like you're a bunch of f that's kind of funny and the program never changes. MC Toon, he is saying that the entire show, the uh, Toon Live and Conspiracy Toon's channel, are basically some kind of false flag that you've, you've basically set this up to lampoon the Flat Earth movement, but you do it intentionally badly in order to promote the Flat Earth movement. I don't know. That's he, what he's basically saying. He, he, might, he might be a Flat Earther thinking that I somehow, that I, I agree with that position. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's a little confusing, I have to say. Another bi boy failed f comedian, really? An original f there, fellas. Let me guess, you're a failed artist. You play a guitar or something. Are you two the new A team? Since the old A team got wiped out by a few hams and friends. Okay, George Peppard is dead. Um, Mr. T uh, is also, he, he died a few years ago. Mr. T's still alive. Are you kidding me? Didn't he die? No. I'm, I need to ask. I need to see it, Mr. T. Because I, I thought I heard he died. But let's... If I, do you know what? If he's, if he's still alive, I, that's the second apology. I, for whatever it is, right? As, as far as I'm aware, at least one member of the A-team is still alive. Yes. And, and I, I, I should... I, do you know what? I think when he's talking about... He's not um, talking about the A-team from the TV show. He's talking about it, the A-team that he... he he thinks he imagines tried to take him out, whoever they are. Oh, no idea. Because I mean, I, I think he's referring to me as the, the by boy failed faggot comedian. Whereas I mean, I, I would dispute that I'm a failed comedian. I would say more I'm an amateur in the sense that like, however good or bad I am doesn't really matter because I'm just doing it for my own personal lulls and. Uh, I don't actually care how, how much the audience likes what I do. I know your faggot bye boy failed comedian buddy thinks I rigged the bet. How about this one? I bet that you two faggots will be teamed up with flat earthers in the next few weeks to go after me. You are running out of time this time, unfortunately, but I guess ride it until the lightning strikes, eh? Well, I have been struck by lightning. When I was 15 years old, I got struck by a lightning bolt whilst I was climbing uh, the Brecon Beacons on a school outward bound trip. Uh, and, and it was not a nice experience. I was in. How did he know? Well, I just think he might have uncanny prescience. That's, that's the theory that I'm going with right now. Let's, let's go with that. Right. I, so and I, here I thought it was just a Metallica reference. Oh, their first album is called Ride the Lightning. See, it's right there. Write it and tell the lightning strikes. <laughs> that's such a more. That's so much more plausible. He's into Metallica. Okay. He he might not be. Uh, I I imagine him as being into some sort of hillbilly banjo music. But you know, could be. And happy Father's Day, even though you are both faggots that most likely only boogie board the kids, just like your Jewish predecessors of predation. Now whale, Jew, whale. When when they don't have anything, there's a there's a you know kind of a, a cupboard full of. Uh, insults that they'll pull out and looks like he's uh he's emptying the drawer upside down on the countertop here to get all the insults literally out. he's he's pulled it off its rails and he's shaking it out just to try and see what what fluff might fall out of the insult drawer and yes. literally old faithful call them uh, a child abuser has, has it, it just clattered onto the kitchen counter and he's he's looked at it and thought ah i guess this will do oh. when they when they have nothing they pull that out Oh, hey, sorry for the edit. I forgot to tell you that I put up a special one for you two retards. This guy would have called me a conspiracy theorist before. Ha 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 ha. Look at him. Think he's faking? I think you will be damn lucky to fare this well in your near future. I don't have to lift a finger anymore, as it turns out. Imagine this guy trying to spit my name out of his mouth. Freaking hilarious. And then that link. I, the well, the, the link pointed to what, what seemed to be a, a, like a disabled person who was having difficulty speaking. And I don't really know the context, but I, I suppose 
Blackpilled Ham is, is trying to suggest that this, this person maybe was vaccine damaged, whereas from what I can tell, he may have just been a disabled person and, and that's just oh. how he speaks. Um, but yeah, that, I mean, that does seem to be another one of those bottom of the barrel insults, which is, I don't have to think up a witty retort and come back at you because you're going to be dead anyway. It, it's been a spectacular fail so far. Uh, and I, I don't know when, I mean, I've heard that, heard it before that everybody that got that medicine is going to uh, croak, but I have never, when, when's it going to happen? I just, it's just uncanny. These predictions keep, they keep failing for, for some reason. I, I'll never know. So just to wrap up this story, Black Pilled Ham took down all of his content and then a few days later put up some of his content and a different channel and yeah and he played he there was one video which was tremendously self-pitying he was wondering out loud why it was that the new world order uh, a certain minority group that that uh, represents approximately 2.4 percent of the american population i'm sure it's i'm sure it's the jews i'm very sure it's the jews he was claiming that that particular group was responsible for all of the bad things that happened to him. He, he claimed that, that that small religious group had shut down his website, pilled.link. Pilled.link got shut down at the registrar level. And, and then he claimed that those same people were responsible for persecuting him. And I can't imagine that these guys whoever the fuck they are, uh, running some sort of campaign on me on YouTube. He was pointing to us. Um, I, yeah, both of us. He, he was claiming that we are members, or, or at least we are somehow working for that particular very small religious group. Well, I, which I, I, can, I can assure you, I, I'm not. I can assure you that uh, I have, I not, am not currently, nor have I ever been a member of that group. <laughs> Yeah, and, I, uh, I'm, I don't... And, and while I, I am friends with, with uh, certain, uh, plenty of them, um, I, do, uh, I do not do their bidding. Yeah, I mean, well, actually, I technically do because my girlfriend is of that particular tribe. Oh. And uh, I, would, I would, you know, uh, you know she's a, well, she's a good is. woman. There's, and, there's and, the inn. Pill made this video that was just so self-pitying. He, he was on the verge of, of crying, saying how... He, he's going to have to scale back his video creation. I'm not going to have time to do this anymore. He was worried that his wife... The school she worked for laid off 34 of 72 teachers. So that's 34 teachers running around, scrambling around, trying to find a fucking job in another school. He, he was giving away all kinds of bizarre details about his personal life, which I thought, right, if, if there really was a, a nefarious group out to get him, would probably use against him. But I, I, just for the record, that's not really my style because I actually want him to keep making videos. Yes. Because that's my content. I, I, and then the, the funny thing is he made yet another video pointing to us and saying, well, why is it that we're making videos about him and not Alex Jones or Russell Brand or he's just famous conspiracy theorists? Yeah. And I mean, I, and he, well, I mean, I, I'll answer that. If, if Black Pilled Ham is watching that, I'll, that's a really easy question to answer. It, it, it's basically because the New York Times and the Washington Post and, and, and the Daily Telegraph and, and all those big newspapers, they cover Russell Brand and Alex Jones and, yeah. and the big conspiracy theorists. So if I were to do content about Russell Brand or, or Alex Jones, I, I just can't compete with the mainstream news. Yeah. So I tend to find weirder, obscure people that, that the general public haven't heard of. And I'm literally taking people who are obscure figures and, and shining a, a light on them. That's, that's what we're doing here. You can't compete with the big guys. So uh, yeah, we'll have fun with the, the crazy, the, the, the little guys. Black Pilled Ham seems to feel that I, we're picking on him and we're being unfair to him. And, oh, and poor boy. we should have picked on somebody else. But uh, the simple fact is we are commenting on public videos that he made. He didn't have to put a load of weird racist nonsense 
onto the internet. He, and, and I first became interested in Black Pilled Ham because he made that crazy nonsense video about uh, BLE beacons that, that you commented on a few weeks ago. Yeah, that that that's totally insane. It's 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 great comedy. I agree, right? And he just wants it both ways. He would like it that that he can say what he wants, and but he doesn't like it when anybody criticizes him. Or in, in fact, he responds in such an overblown and r ridiculous, pathetic way. He thinks it's somebody from his sordid past who's come ten years who, ago. Who's sick as on. Yeah, who's sicked us onto him in, in order to, to get revenge for something for what? That, that may have... For what? I have no idea. He thinks it's some flat earthers coming to take revenge for something he didn't do that, or, or only did in his imagination. I, he, I think he's got a, a, a misplaced uh, sense of, of importance here. He's got a giant he's, ego. He's a narcissist. He thinks that he's important. And the fact that somebody says things against his absolute drivel is proof to him that they are out to get him. He's just said something incredibly stupid many times, and we're pointing it out. This is purely the consequences of his own stupid words. In fact, all Black Pilled Ham would have to do to make me stop doing videos about him. I'd like him to apologize. First of all, to Sabrina for, for saying all those mean uh, anti-Semitic things about her uh, and admit that he was completely wrong uh, about literally everything. I'd like him to, to take back his stupid comments about Bluetooth low energy beacons and just admit that he was repeating a dumb conspiracy theory. I, he doesn't need to apologize to me, but he could apologize to that particular religious group that, that he was saying mean things about, claiming that they are responsible for uh, the world's problems. Zero confidence that he'll ever do that because it's such an embedded part of who he is that that, mm. that particular group, he he his the hate that he has for him for them it's it's a fire hose of hate and there's there's nothing in his life more important than keeping that fire hose blasting i agree it, and you know what and in that case if that's how he feels i'm just going to, have to keep making videos about him make it so